you go out, take some flicks, you come home, edit them, and then you post them on Instagram. Instead, as a better alternative, you could have posted those flicks on Vero. Vero is a social media application also known as True Social because Vero actually means truth. Vero has a large variety as far as reaching for an audience, yet it seems pretty underrated and has a lot of potential, I feel. Actually founded in 2013, Vero was actually launched in 2015 on mobile only, reaching the top 50 apps on the App Store. Seven years later, they released a desktop version that is still in beta, but yet fully supported. That means there's a version of Vero that is optimized for computers. <clears throat> Instagram. What makes Vero stand out is that the fact that it's ad-free, non-algorithmic, and has very low image compression. So to put in a scenario for you, close your eyes and imagine. Imagine. Imagine yourself scrolling through Vero without seeing any ads, without seeing bad trends, getting millions of likes, all that while waiting for your totally, absolutely astonishing landscape photo to post with incredibly low compression. Sounds good, right? Not only that, but you can have multiple images with different aspect ratios in one post. And if you want to view it full screen, you just click on it. Vero doesn't mind data, so you can get more comfy and cozy. I know I'm real comfy and cozy, you know? Now, like I said, Vero is a good app. But what makes Instagram so big is its interactive community. That's what Vero needs. Some of it, at least. I mean, in terms of popularity, look at Be Real. They didn't gain so much more popularity until a while later, even despite Vero launching eight years ago. I'm not saying Vero has to be used as a placeholder for TikTok or Instagram. Actually, they have features on there that makes it pretty unique in its own way. For example, the three pin post limit on Instagram is not there on Vero. You can post more than just three pins. But what about the fact that Vero has nine different dedicated post options for different subjects and six on desktop, giving you so many ways to discover more than just photography on Vero. Now, personally, I didn't like Vero. It's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. It's not like completely take away all the hype I was giving it. Whenever I start up Vero, it's like stepping in a room with fresh air. It has a very nice design, great system. I love how it's set up. It's just missing that bigger interactive community. Eight out of 10 times when I go on Vero with a large interval of time between the first time I went on Vero and the next time I went on Vero, I see the same post as before. Soon, Vero will require a subscription to be able to log in and those who are already on there will be able to log in for free. I mean, at least for me, you know, those people who are already on Vero, that's, that's a pretty good deal. Just saying. I mean, those who aren't on there, you better hurry up because I don't know what. It's not too much more to say about it. I mean, it's free now. Go download it. And of course, follow me. Share your own posts. Get the interactive community that Vero needs. Get that feel of Vero. Sooner or later, when Vero blows up again, you can say you were there before the hype. Some easy clout right there. Just saying. Putting it out there. Vero is for the people who are looking for something different. If you're a photographer, cinematographer, somewhere in that film industry, I recommend Vero strongly, at least to have another platform to share your content with. Or even if you like books, movies, games, and especially music, Vero could be for you. Vero is expanding and has quite the community for music. I was just pointing out photographers and cinematographers because a lot of the time, the image detail can reside in a lot of the actual image quality. This app is for the ones out there kind of looking for the combination between maybe I'll say Reddit and the productive, creative side of Instagram. All in all, no matter who you are, Vero has a place for you. They're really big on the feedback and they're great at communication. So if you have anything to say, maybe is a good time to do it now. Suggestions, things like that can actually be implemented into Vero with just a simple email. I honestly, biggest recommendation is checking it out trying it out for yourself. When you get on, if you get on, you can even invite your friends, of course, because it's free. Everybody loves free, free for everyone. So I'll leave you all to that information I just graced you with. I am going to scroll on Vero. The choice is up to you now. The choice is up to you. I'm going to be on there. Other people are going to be in there. I mean, why not? You could be in there. I, I don't know. It's just...